There's no foil party bus. All right. Um, actually, I need to export this so I can put it on the stream decker real quick here. Smothering tithe, please. Sure. There's no smothering tithe foil. There's no, there's no, Watsy is just, they're just spewing money everywhere. I just want, I want to give them all this money and they just won't, they won't take my money. Dealer's choice. I'm going to do a planeswalker. I already have Dovin from the thing. I'll do a planeswalker later. Let us have, I need, I need, uh, I need a meme priority. If Wizards of the Coast wants, I could rank things based on meme status for them that they should, that they should put into foil. Give them, give them the old meme rankings. The chat has a point. We need Grawl backs for the party gods. That's true. The Grawl do like to party. Okay, yeah, I think I think they're right. I think the girl back is more appeasing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And the girl sleeve on the Esper deck. This is this is perfect. Let's dive. Let's dive in, shall we? Oh, I probably need to restart the client here soon. We're going to hit the audio bug in the next 20 minutes or so. Oh, oh I'm almost, oh, it's so, it's so blinding, chat. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> um, do we keep this? I need, I need a sec. I almost just snap kept it because it was beautiful, but like, I need a, I need another, I need another black source, right? I, these, these draw cards, I guess. I'm going to keep it. There's, there's only five foils in here. I need, I need more foils. Please, more foils. Gosh, our opponent doesn't even have sleeves on their deck. Just no, no respect for protecting their own property. Man, are are the sleeves or lack thereof going to start giving some indicators like like people people who don't have sleeves are less likely to be playing decks that cost money? Like you're more likely to be on a budget deck if you're if you don't have sleeves. I feel I feel like that's going to be a real thing. Thanks for a year of helping me understand and improve my magic. Also, putting your teaching skills towards teaching people magic in Hoglandia. Throng, thank you for the entire year of support. Welcome back. Have a sword to go with your shield. Thanks for keeping me around. JoJo14 with the big tip. Had some extra cash this month and wanted to support the best streamer around. Can this go to 30 minutes? of ASMR frenzied petitioners at your earliest convenience. I can think of this for something. I don't know that frenzied petitioners is really something I want to do. I feel like that's probably not very good. Or is this, is this weekend singleton? Because petitioners is like actually a deck in singleton, right? Because it's funny. Thank you for the very generous tip, Jojo. Bellhaunt's about to look excellent here. And by look excellent, I mean it's actually a pile of non-foil garbage, but it'll still be good on the board. I'm, I'm disappointed while I play it, but it's still helping me win the game.
I love you, Belhaunt. I know you're trying, but you're just the least beautiful card on our side of the table. You are, you are my greatest shame currently. Yikes, they had a, that's a pretty big elephant, eh? You can do Italy tokens with Amaras replaced by Conclave's Guild Mage. What, uh, what deck is that, Jojo? Could you, uh, DM me a link of it? Just so I make sure I get the right thing for you. Oh, Naya, Naya tokens. Naya tokens with Amara's replaced by Conclave Guild Mage. I think I'm just passing here. I think there's a good chance their last cards, their last cards a land. And I'm just gonna hang on to this as a combat trick for now. Wow, the Memorial to Folly looks fantastic. Oh, the grass is cutting through my card. Look at that. Do you see that underneath the... Let me turn the chat off for a moment. The the ch the grass on the board animation is cutting through the Memorial to Folly. You can just click on my username there in chat. To have it have it have it happen in chat too, Jojo. This deck did get bumped up, Lord Moly. Our, our, our girl sleeves were no match for the blades of grass. Alright. Alright. Everybody on the bus. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the foils identify the same way as non-foil cards to Deckmaster. Of course that's a Rakdos avatar. Who else would be driving the party bus? Come on now. Come on now, who else would be driving the party bus? I think I, I think I attack with this. Do they want to trade both of these for the bus? That's fine. And if they, if they don't trade for the bus, I'll hostage take her my bus. That'll, that'll let me explore and draw some cards. I want to turn off auto order and abilities because I want to explore before I draw. So we'll hostage, hostage take her my bus. Get all, get all my triggers. Uh, I don't care about their pride mate because the explore triggers and stuff are gonna get me to eventually combo somehow. That is a Vampire Sovereign, which is awesome because it protects my stuff in the air. I have Mortify up here as well.
Thanks for the link, Jojo. That'll be up after the bus today. That's scary. So, I'm gonna hold on to this Mortify here. So now everybody, everybody on the bus. And then I think I want to stop inside of their draw step and mortify the bus. So my opponent will draw for the turn and then we'll kill the bus. Everybody out of the bus. So now all these triggers happen. All right, Hostage Shaker is going to take the Pride Mate. Uh, Jojo, as a heads up, I'm not doing Standard tomorrow or Friday because of the Invitational. So if we don't do the tokens today, it'll be up on Monday. Treasure map, not looking for that. Perfect. Well, it'll be, we'll do it. We'll take care of it on, uh, on Monday then. And thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Hey, look at that. There goes their Conclave Tribunal. We draw a couple cards here. Can you get the dual land foils without the bundles? You cannot. The, the lands only come from the bundles. And also, for those of you who might have missed it, there's a memorial to Folly over here that's going to pick our bus back up later. <laughs> Thanks, JoJo. Yeah, I was really impressed with that deck. It seemed really sweet. So we have Mortify in case something goes sideways. Otherwise, I'm going to use... Otherwise, I'm going to use this. And then I get to Mortify my own bus again here. This attack is pretty good. All right, so I think I want to stack this and this on here. And then I probably How do I want to do this? I think I want to trade this and I'm going to chump block here and then have this happen. We're very close to combo killing them. I think I'm going to do this. So if I play this, I have five, six, seven, and the the thing gives me eight, so I can still lumbering battlement and do other stuff here. So everyone, everyone on the bus. Do I want to draw step, get them again here? I think I do. My 
Everybody out of the bus! I would like your healer talk! And I would like land. So I'm gonna gain one, draw two here. The lines on this deck are so silly. It's like up and down and in and out and all around. If we draw a... So we get three draws here. We get these two draws plus a draw step. We can find two buses or a bus and another hostage taker. We get to loop and kill them. I mean, I'm like discarding a card out of their hand. I'm taking a creature. I'm drawing two cards. It's like pretty reasonable. We drew three cards this time because the Secret Squire happened. Siren's Ruse is used over Justicar's portal because we have pirates in our deck that we occasionally blank. Yeah, you get to choose your card back. You can choose to put these, these full art animations on some of the cards. Did I buy all of the cosmetics? Uh, people have been donating and cheering to get specific cosmetics, and we have a good deal of them at this point. All right, so I think I start by casting this... And then I'm going to go ahead and flicker the hostage taker here. Grab their venerated loxodon. Do we have all of the guild cosmetics? Uh, we have most of them. I can convoke this out, right? I'm pretty sure. Remember when I said the audio bug was going to hit? All right. I didn't expect this match to go this long. These people are great by their stuff. These people also great by their stuff. Back to your regularly scheduled mess of a party bus ride. Uh, yeah, we have the grill one. How can we buy their stuff if we spent all of our money for you to buy cosmetics? That's a good question. Does the game currently have this weird glowy look to it or are my eyes going crazy? When we, since we reloaded. It's applied makeup. It's glare from the... Oh, my sleeves are missing too. That's our... This is our first time we've reloaded mid-match. There might be... Must be some bugs with it. We're being punished for our beauty, chat. Our beauty is being punished. Baffling it. How much what this probably eats the healer's hawk?
We've only drawn one bus in 33 cards. Hopefully we draw another bus here. Gosh, Deputy Detention would be real good. Fortunately, we are not playing that card. So, I think I actually just can trip my Hostage Taker here. Because with two Hostage Takers, a party bus actually gets a loop going eventually. No, I need the, I need the Hostage Taker after I bus, right? All right, treasure map. Let's do it. That's actually kind of scary. Getting a little bit punished for being aggressive with my hostage taker here. Yikes. All right, little sailor. You think we'll get this game on mobile soon? How many blockers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I still, got, I still got a good number of blockers here. Those treasures are eventually all cards. This probably exiles the 2-5 Sailor. I feel like they don't quite have good attacks yet, but we'll see. Maybe they disagree. The fact this is a 5-5 five five might make them disagree. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Well. I meant to scry during my upkeep, but we drew a good card, so I guess that's fine. We get to start, we get multiple scries, and we get multiple draws a turn now, so. Is this it? Is this the, is this where we're getting aggro? Nope, not yet. Scry. Where's my bus? All right, there's the hostage shaker. It's gray. Oh, that's a good one. All right. This one, please. This has been a heck of a game. I would like to draw this one. I would like to blink this hostage taker. Oh, the bus is here, chat. The bus is here. All right, I think we attack first. I think we attack first. I think I want the Sailors back. I need some things back on defense here. This is busted. You're not, you're not wrong, Beetle. I guess I'm at 22. I was still, I was being a little bit too defensive, not attacking with the Sailors. So I don't, I don't plan to put everything under the bus here. Hey, everybody on the bus. Well, most of you on the bus. Our flip cards foil on both sides. I don't know. The bus is so and this is this is game one, by the way. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't stack these, right? Uh... I didn't- I needed to put the bus trigger on the bottom, right? No, this is fine. The bus trigger goes on top. And we just don't exile the hostage takers, right? Yeah, this is fine. So the bus- the bus loads all of these up. Then the Seeker Squire bins that. All these triggers happen again. One taker should have taken the other. Maybe. You need to leave one taker with the bus so when it leaves you get another taker. Yes, that is correct. I have plenty of mana though it doesn't matter that I messed up. Oh, I did mess up though, right? Because now I can't loop. Yeah, whatever. So I technically could have, if I took the time to click through and be careful, I could technically loop infinitely there. I didn't, so we can't. It's gonna be okay. There's a when we do so in in a proper in a proper game of Magic where I wasn't clicking and I was thinking through carefully, we would get to set it up so we get to draw as much of our deck as we want there, and eventually we draw the vampire that drains them, and we drain them with a combo loop. No, the correct way to do it is there's another vampire in the deck. So we draw to get to the vampire, and then we play that vampire. And we'll, and we'll pick our whole deck up at that point, so we'll have another one. Alright, so this will exile this. All the, all the triggers happen. I'm gonna put hostage takers at the bottom. This is gonna target this lumbering battlement. And this is gonna target this hostage taker that was already here, so I have an extra one in exile. So then that one's going to exile that bus, which means this bus comes into play. And then this bus is going to exile a bunch of stuff, including this hostage taker, which has the other bus under it. I can start taking these sailors as well. The coder, thank you for the 2-1-3 resub. I appreciate that, which puts the other bus into play. And then this bus gobbles up this bus, which then puts all of these things back into play. And we put the hostage taker trigger at the bottom. This hostage taker trigger targets the bus with the bus under it. All right, so now, now we're looping successfully. The buses don't come in foil. It's a travesty. All right, and there's, there's the vampire. So this party bus is going to exile um, things that don't draw cards at this point. And I'm going to click Submit. So technically we have an arbitrary amount of mana here. So I've intentionally stopped my loop. So now the Vampire Sovereign comes into play here. And now I can cast this Hostage Taker or cast this Lumbering Battlement, re-triggering the loop. And this loop's gonna involve Vampire Sovereign here. Oh wait, I was supposed to get the one with the Hostage Taker under it, right? So ba basically at some point in this convoluted in this convoluted loop, 
um, we loop the vampire sovereign trigger into play again and again and again. So how this is supposed to work is so this this exiles the bus with the hostage taker, and now this bus is gonna come back into play, and it's gonna exile the taker with the bus under it and the vampire. And then when the taker leaves, this bus comes back into play, which is gonna exile this bus again. And now these come into play, and then this hostage taker takes this bus hostage again. No, this is this is neat. We're getting to we're getting to show we're getting to show how the combo works. So this is this is this is the we have we have all the treasures in the world if we wanted. We could draw we could draw our entire deck. It just took me it took me a second to work through the which iterations needed to happen. So the other bus comes into play. It exiles this and this. Sweet, we're rolling. We're rolling now. We can do it. Show dominance by decking yourself. Should hostage taker be a bus driver? Asking the real questions. So I don't want to do anything weird like generating extra things here because I don't want to accidentally mess up the combo mid-clicking. Although I will say they must have fixed these awkward combo decks and taking actions, right? Because my timer hasn't popped up at all yet. All right, so we need uh, seven vampire triggers on the stack. You do get to hear the bus groan in the middle every time too, which is great. This deck is the most Rube Goldberg creation I've ever witnessed at Arena, and I love it. It's quite, it's quite wonderful, to be fair. Yeah, the way, the way I'm stacking the triggers now, the vampire trigger's not resolving, so they're not actually draining yet. But if you look, there's currently, what, five vampire triggers waiting to resolve? And once I get seven up there, I just won't, won't, I'll just break the loop. Because I, because I can stop this loop at any time. It's just every time I do the loop, I get one more vampire trigger. So in paper magic, you would say to your opponent, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to do this loop X times. And the end result is this thing. All right. So now this will put the seventh vampire trigger on the stack. So this last hostage taker is going to grab control of a vampire and then they're gonna they're gonna die to these these vampire triggers. Dead. Dead! Dead you. We did it! We did it! The old the old 35 minute game one. The old 35 minute game one. Um cast down, moment of craving, Kaya. Mortify. Uh, I think we actually cut Treasure Map, and I'm pretty sure we cut Dusk Legion Zealot in, in these aggressive matchups. Maybe I don't want the, quite this many Mortifies. Real Glow, thank you for the Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for thanks for keeping me around. Nah, we had a big donation for this one. We can we can run we can run longer longer, longer than an hour or so. Did you redeem all possible foil full arts or just the party bus ones? I only maxed out the party bus. There's still a bunch that we don't have, I'm sure. I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the restroom really quick. Oh, no, or not.
Spending my free bucks so I have money for these shiny sleeves. The sleeves are quite good. Unfortunately, both of these are taps, so I think I have to mulligan even with the squire in the cast down here. Ugh. Oh, the sleeves are still gone because we disconnected. Weird. I think I am going to run to the restroom really quick. I'll be right back. Ink we're dead. Um, I guess that's okay. I guess I already have one, so maybe I'm supposed to bin that. If they don't, if they have an anthem effect here, we're in a lot of trouble. They have a way to make all their stuff bigger. They have another Loxodon, maybe. The check lands do not come in the guild gate bundles. Removal spell. Yeah. This flips the legion's landing as well. So we're taking nine here. So I get to take this. I'm taking six on this combat step. And then maybe I get enough blockers down next turn if they don't have a removal spell. Uh, by crafting them. So they can trade one of their... They can trade one of their 2-2s two for... For 6 points of damage here, which is probably profitable for them. I guess it's just for 2 points of damage. Alright, this is fine. So next turn I get to play Sailor plus Tithe Taker. And then maybe we're en route to stabilization on the back of this other... This other Hostage Shaker afterwards. I guess I could have also hostage shakered their vanguard here. Maybe that was better. If I would have hostage shakered their vanguard, I would have gained life. But then this this would still be under here, so it's a little bit it's worse against another removal spell. This is probably it. A lot of the non reclamation combo decks are really bad. They just like have a lot of mediocre cards in them. Why didn't we take the locks it on? Because I wanted to be able to cast it the next turn. I wanted to be able to get more things under the board ASAP, basically. Yeah, that's a history, Manalia. All right, so I can play... I can play Hostage Shaker, take their Vanguard, play it. I can also play Lumbering Battlement, get rid of my Hostage Shaker. And then next turn, Hostage Shaker, my Battlement. Yeah, we do we do technically have our combo. So if I do if I do this and tuck the hostage taker under it, next turn I can start looping. But I don't loop anything meaningful at that point, is the issue. Am I about to get disdainful stroked? I'm about to get disdainful stroked. I think we're probably dead then. Let's 
Super dead, got it. 35 minute game one, much quicker game two. All right, let's take this last one on the play. Are you to drive this bus off into the sunset, Rakdos? I know I am. This is probably the longest set this white weenie player has ever played, right? Is a combo deck or a mid-range deck with an occasional combo finish? I mean, that's kind of splitting hairs, right? Sian needs a third land, but seems fine otherwise. Angrath seemed like the only appropriate driver for the bus, Chucky. There is a there is a gates package, Philly, that gives you a bunch of the gates in in foil, as a, as a deal. I'm gonna shock this in to hold up cast down slash craving this turn. They could tithe taker here and make me sad though. Go ahead and gobble that one up here. I'm actually going to kill the Sky Marcher. There's a chance I can keep their board smaller than three creatures. And if I keep their board smaller than three creatures, this just doesn't... This is just a 1-1. One, one. Wait, the way my hand's lined up here, I got a ton of removal. This also gets flying eventually, which is nice. God bless America. Oh, if I kill this first, they don't they don't get the thing, right? Yeah, interbeating if claws, God bless. I think I just shock here and play the bell haunt. Just like take a card out of their hand, gain some life, put a blocker out. This could this'll bait like a conclave tribunal coming down before I get hostage shaker battlement going. And honestly, if they put it under a conclave tribunal, this mortify is great. The bus is not available in foil. Everything that comes in foil in this deck is foiled. Looks like they have the Tribunal here. That means during their draw step next turn, we're going to mortify the Tribunal and put the Bell Haunt into play and take their card away. Yep. So they get to a game one and attack us for two here, down to... Down to 16. So during my opponent's draw step, we mortify the Conclave Tribunal. Trigger, get rid of your card, gain some life. Just to land. Probably see them attack with everything here so they get to flip the Legion's Landing, I'd imagine. Next turn, we will Hostage Shaker their one drop and replay their one drop. And the following turn, we can Lumbering Battlement the Bell Haunt and the Hostage Shaker. So they'll go up to 26 here. We'll eat one of these. We'll take four down to 15. They'll go to 28.
Uh, this is the Rakdos avatar. Opponent, opponent, do 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 do. Ah, uh, you actually can't craft the cards that are in the bundles, Philly. So you can't craft the shock lands because they come in the guild bundles. You can craft these lands though, or the the buddy lands. We, what are we doing, opponent? What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> Maybe we're getting roped? I don't know. I feel like they're not completely out of this game. If they knew my hand, they're mostly out of the game, but I feel like this is still close at this point. Next Friday? Yeah, definitely, JoJo. For big donations, I always give people flexibility. To be played next Friday. 10 out of 10. No problem. Thanks for the support. I think I attack here. Because, like, I have a blocker. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Ooh, the Vampire Sovereign. I'm so glad this card has a foil because it's been like subtly very good. I wasn't expecting this card to be good, but it's kind of been great just as like in terms of like being a good magic card. Do you see the opponent's foils? You do. All right, so another bus or another hostage taker and we get to gain an arbitrary amount of life. We can start attacking them with this eight nine here soon. I wonder if because I only have two blockers now, they'll push in to flip their legions landing. Oh, yeah, that's true. I missed the life gain on the cat. It's a good catch. Mortified is also a great draw here in the face of their Conclave Tribunal. My Lumbering Battlement's going to get to start trucking in here. Yeah, if I put the cat under the bus, they would get it back when the bus died. That's hilarious, Genesis. Yeah, I really feel like this card should have either had Trample or the ability to, like, not be blocked by things that are, have, have certain power. Either, either of those things seem like they would have been. They would have been fine. Basic land. Thanks for the three months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I like the bus being big enough to attack Chalky. If the bus is only a 6-7, they have more profitable blocks. And being an 8-9, it almost puts them under the abyss here. Menace. Can't be blocked by creatures with power 1 or 2 or less, just so tokens couldn't jump block it. Something like that. The, uh, the Gate Colossus text would be, would be reasonable, I think.
Wow, they jump block with the knight. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, they did a they did a good job with the foils. They are quite fantastic. At some point in the combo, you get timed out, by the way. I need to draw 30 plus cards to find a vampire and the timer started to appear. Interesting. It must just take longer when you're taking constant game actions. Uh, we had sleeves, but I disconnected and reconnected during this match because the audio bug came up and the sleeves were gone from our deck when we when we reconnected. Oh, I should have played this land because I actually can't use this memorial at the moment without using my treasure. Small mistake because of the because of the tithe taker. So we're actually just treading water on the back of the Leonin Vanguard trigger, which is sweet. The 8 9 is going to eventually truck through. We're talking about keywords the bus should have had. It really should have banding, right? That's, that's, that's the key word this bus is missing, is, is banding. Can we appreciate the fact that, like, my opponent's only drawn three lands this game or, like, still in it? Can you explain banding for the kids at home? I can't, and that's part of the joke. I, I in fact, cannot explain banding, and that's part of why it should never come back. I think the TLDR on banding is you kind of take multiple creatures and push them in together as one attacker and then you get to decide how blockers assign combat damage into your one big creature rather than rather than the defender choosing how they assign combat damage. I believe that's how it works. I'm pretty sure... It actually works like com if you ever played Epic Card Game, I'm pretty sure it works like the combat in Epic Card Game works when you attack with multiple things in Epic. I'm pretty sure. It's a vi I agree. It's a very flavorful mechanic. Actually executing it is terrible though. All right, so we we're gonna gain we're gonna gain an arbitrary amount of life here and make them discard their hand, and we're gonna make a bunch of treasure tokens. So I'm just attacking first here because when I end the combo, this will be summoning sick. So I have a hostage taker, a hostage taker, a bust, so we have a loop here. You're pretty sure we're going to get Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, that could definitely happen. Those could be cards they're holding. Banding is like marriage. Technically, it's two people. But for some reason, you always get addressed as one. That's true. We do. 
We do, in fact, have Memorial to Folly in case we get Stroke to try again next turn. Alright, so this happens. This targets this Hostage Taker. My opponent discards a card. The Battleman comes into play, takes everything except the cat. The other Hostage Taker comes back, takes the Battleman. So they've seen, they've, they've seen this song and bus dance before. That's awesome. Yeah, this is still the first match. We comboed in two out of the three games in that match. And it was, it was quite a good time. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody wherever you're in the world. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday wherever you're at. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream Magic full-time here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. If you're someone who enjoys standard best of three construct with all sorts of wacky things like the Zesper Party Bus deck, this is definitely the channel for you. We play a ton of different things here, and we change decks every 60 to 90 minutes, so you get a lot of variety here. As always, I'd love to give a shout-out to my wonderful subs. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their wonderful support. I'd also like to plug a couple of my sponsors here really quick. Harry's Razors would love to help you get that close, clean shave using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash shave. You can save $5 on your brand-new shaving starter kit with them. Remember, chat, just because you like playing the Degenerate decks doesn't mean you need to look like it. Lucid Sound is the maker of my wonderful headset here, and using code TEMPO at lucidsound.com, you can save 20%, plus get free shipping on your order with them. Neo, Neo provides wonderful candy-flavored protein bars using code Hoogland at bit.ly forward slash bar. You can save 10% on your orders with them. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hooklandia. You know, there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff here on Twitch. I appreciate you stopping in. It's been part of your day here with us. We are heading on into our next match here with the Esper Party Bus deck and see if we can load some folks back up and then take them off and back on again. <laughs> Playing with some beautiful foil cards and our fantastical new Rakdos avatar driving the bus. <laughs> so many foils, so little lands. The sand is much better. Onward, onward, upward, backward, forward. Our girl sleeves are back. Fantastical. It makes me incredibly sad to have to bin that there, but we need to try and hit a land for the search for Ascanta, or just like player spells, as much as I'd like to kill the search. Would you like to absorb, absorb my friend? Is this a pay to get, to get... On foils, Jeff. Yeah, we. I've been letting people. So foils range in price from like three to six dollars. So I've been letting people cheer or donate five dollars to foil specific cards, so we have them. Poor artifact. Don't look at how much artifact costs to play. It's it's. Let the dead rest in peace. Okay, PCV. It's very rude to make fun of the dead. Uh, 
Uh, Dusk Legion Zealot actually isn't a pirate. He's a vampire soldier for whatever reason. Although I would, I would argue based on his hat, he should be a pirate. So this is one mana draw card here on Sailor of Means. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Sweet. And we drew a Mortify for this, which is great for us. It's going to do this now while they're tapped out. It sucks to lose my second white, but I think it's right to play this to try and hit the land. We've actually not played Abzan Angels. I'm going to try and do this just to draw a card. I really need to hit Lance with the sand. Perfect. All right, so what would I rather resolve next turn? Bell Haunt or Vampire? I think I'd rather do Bell Haunt because it takes a card out of their hand. The Siren Druze stops single target removal. It does. When in Magic the Gathering, when a card changes zone, so in the case with Siren Druze going to exile and then coming back into play, it counts as a new card for all intents and purposes of the rules. So if someone targeted your creature with removal and you blink it with Ruse, it's no longer being targeted by that removal. We have not played against a single other person who has deck sleeves or or foil cards yet. Land. Perfect. I'll take that. Yoink. They've already used two Kaya's Wraths here. Oh, did someone have foil growth chambers? Actually, that's probably true. I think there's a higher percentage of people in these constructed events that are trying to free to play or like work up their collection because you farm gold faster in these events than you do on the ladder. So I would I would bet the ladder has a higher proportion of uh, a higher proportion of cosmetics than these events. Mortify seems fine here. Eldest Reborn is great. Spyglass is good. Duress is fine. What do I what do I want to cut here? Uh, it is only gems, I believe, to buy the foils. I think I actually want to trim a couple of these in this matchup. While it's good against spot removal, a lot of times they're going to kill my stuff on site, which makes it worse. Maybe I don't want four Mortify and four Hostage Taker. I could see that. Although Hostage Taker tucking one of my creatures, so that way it doesn't die to a, doesn't die to a Sweeper is kind of sweet. Maybe I don't want any of the Sirens Ruses. I could see that. Trim a Mortify. Sailor of Memes gets a lot worse if I don't have silence Ru Sirens Ruse. Maybe this is the plan. This seems fine. Yeah, let's do this. F 
Free Stoneforge Mystic. What's going on, Magic Sausage Cat? I really hope they throw a curveball and print Stoneforge Mystic in, in this new set. Because the way they worded the new set, Stoneforge Mystic could totally be in it. They said cards that have never been legal in modern, and Stoneforge has never been legal in modern. Alright, take one of my cards away. No, if they if they said if they print it, all cards printed in the set become legal in the format. So it's kind of like a loophole to unban it outside of the unban cycle. A good, a good standard format makes all the difference, for sure. That would be really funny, Mazer. They, like, print Stoneforge and break it at the same time. It's like, have your Stoneforge, and this is why we didn't give it to you in the first place. I really know when to cut combo pieces and which ones to cut. I feel like you don't cut the combo pieces very often. Like, against aggro, I board out Dusk Legion Zealot. And against control, we just boarded out Sailor of Memes. I think those are kind of like your go-to cuts. I, does, does... There's a reason Tron doesn't play Batter Skull when it could regularly cast it on turn three. Because it's not good enough. I don't think turn three batter skull does much of anything. Hey, Prime Ghost, thanks for the Twitch Prime support. Username checks out. Thanks for keeping me around. The five ally swords could be new cards. That would be sweet. If they printed five new swords in Stoneforge, that'd be awesome. Be, I'd be down for that. Nice Kaya's Wrath Mana Esper opponent. Man, Esper Control and missing, missing Colors of Mana. Name a more iconic duo. Alright, so this puts... This puts card 5 in their discard pile here. So this isn't flipping next turn unless they play an instant card. I think I want to just load the bus up here. It might be right to mortify this while they're tapped out, but the bus is a quick clock, and if they kill this, I get a bunch of explore triggers. Yeah, they might, they might like, kill this in response, and then flip the search for us, can't you hear, and then my mortify is no longer good. I want to explore first here, I think. Perfect. Got a memorial to follow here to pick the bus back up, which is great. Bell haunts a great draw for the turn. Oh. Oh, I should have mortified this, right? Yeah, that's loose. 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 At least they don't have enough mana to flip as Kanta, find wrath, cast wrath. We got that going for us. Definitely should have killed the Ascanta there rather than play the Bell Haunt, though. Might have a hard time playing through the card advantage from this Ascanta. They're missing black mana here. Like, it looks like they might be. They might want a Chemist's Insight rather than Ascanta. That's a giant cow. The cow acting as insulation against the control deck sweepers is so good. It's like, moo cow, don't bother me. Moo cow, don't bother me. Do, 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 do. Beep, 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 Everybody on the bus. Everybody on the bus. Driving in my car, beep, beep. We're up to seven mana here. So next turn I can like Hostage Shaker plus play plus activate my memorial. Uh, 
We have a we have a strong contender for the deck of the day here in the party bus, believe it or not. If they if they tuck the bus, they're still dead. So they have to like have a removal spell and then kill the bus on my turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure I get to explore right back to the bus. This is great. <laughs> that, that was just excellent television. It's just good, good, clean living right there. Why are the cards looking awesome, you mean? Uh, Arena rolled out a cosmetics update this morning, so you can now make particular cards full art and slightly animated. Uh, you probably can't renew your Prime sub yet, Mr. Spaghetti, because you are currently still subbed to the channel. You can, you can type in chat, you are currently still subbed. Ooh, Sailor of Memes and the Bell Haunt against Mono Red. Sign me up. Oh, that's weird. Look, do you see the mort the Mortify foil is moving in my hand? A lot of these, like like the Hostage Shaker in the lands, they don't move. But this one, this one is moving while it's in my hand. Like the the shimmers are it's not it's not like moving the card around in the perspective like it does when you mouse over it. We we need a white source or triple bell haunt still. So the first bell haunt is getting cast off the sailor treasure, but ideally we want to draw white. Thanks, Yef. I'm glad you enjoy it. We do we do a good part to I feel like the way the way I present myself on stream and like what I require from people and the way we structure questions here, it encourages a certain type of person to want to support my content more than others. Uh, we are Rakdos, because Rakdos seemed like the appropriate driver for the party bus. Trigger. Four for one, you. Go. White source, white source, white source, ding, ding, ding. Trigger. How does it taste, Mono Red? How does it, how does it make you feel? So they're obviously going to shock this and then first strike it down. But then I'm going to get to play another Bell Haunt and take this card out of their hand. So I'm okay with that. Scamos, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Let's go back up to 19 here. Oh, I should double block because I'm dumb. Because I'm dumb. I, sh I should double block. It's a free double block. And I didn't make the good play because I'm bad at magic. I wanted to I wanted to make the fight more fair, chat. It felt like I felt like they needed to be on even footing. It wasn't it wasn't fair what we're currently doing to them, so I felt like I needed to gift them a chain whirler. Hey Bert, well thanks for the seven months. I appreciate you keeping me around. Welcome back. It was all the discussion about banding earlier. It had me really confused. All right, so this game's over. I'm drawing the but the bus has arrived, and we are gonna we are gonna dance down the street on it.
Since going sub only, have you had to ban anyone? Um, we have had... So the, the chat's been sub only for two and a half weeks now. And we have had two not ironic timeouts. Do they have double burn spell? Are they about to double burn my bus? Shy Tan, thank you for the nine month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Well, that was incredibly rude. That that was incredibly rude. I didn't even realize it was in sub only mode. Yeah, we have we've hit kind of critical mass of subs where we can do that and there's still a good amount of people chatting. All right, so this is why this is why I left the Chain Whirler in play earlier. It wasn't because I made a mistake. It was because I wanted to take it with Hostage Taker here. Which we're just playing with our food chat, okay? Calm down. I actually think this deck has a pretty good, pretty good red matchup. Just because we have all this life gain. This is technically supposed to be tomorrow, but whatever. What's going on, Tower Knight? Thanks for the four months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. For all of my standard regulars, as a heads up, I'm doing a long stream today, but I am not going to be streaming standard until Monday after today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of modern tomorrow and Friday, but with the Invitational going on, I am taking the rest of the week off from standard. Yeah, we have six, six game threes in the main deck. So Zealot and Treasure Map come out here. Cast down is fine. Kaya is great. All the moment of cravings. We honestly might not need all four moments in the board. It's possible I should. I should cut one of those for other tools for other matchups. Eleventh end. Thanks for the prime support. I appreciate it. Yeah, the numbers will still just be a lot worse. Socio penguin. So I, I prefer. I also want to watch some of the invitational. Like their their casting lineup for the invitational is kind of absurd. Between between day nine hosting and the different people they have doing commentary, I want to watch some of the event myself. Am I supposed to keep the guaranteed third land or am I supposed to bottom it digging for a blue source? I'm going to bottom it digging for a blue source. Hey, also, I also just have like a little bit of a backlog of modern content too since I started doing a little bit less of it. So getting getting a couple of double modern, double, double modern deck days in will be good. Work through some of that. Yeah, that's fair, Baw. Just like, I want to get, get that high. I'm going to Seeker Squire here, I think. Arc of Orzaka in their Goblin Chain Whirler deck. That's a bold decision. I think I'm actually going to... So, like, I could play Kaya and exile this, but I think I'd rather save Kaya to plus and gain more life because if I play Kaya, exile that, Kaya's probably just going to eat a burn spell and then immediately die, and I think she stands to gain us a lot more life than that. Now that they played a second one, I guess I'll just trade. 
a sideboard arc to fight Esper. That's interesting. That seems neat. It's card advantage that doesn't get countered or discarded. That's an interesting idea. It's the 21st land for the pull-up strat. Is this the best deck in the format? Well, we just beat White Weenie, followed by Esper Control, and now Mono Red. So there is a there is a strong chance this deck might have broken it in half. The 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 foil cards really pushed it up over the top. Time to go to ranked. No, I am ideally I am not playing a ranked match until next season. Ideally, I'm gonna sit sit nice and pretty on my current rank. How is our modern blue matchup? I have no idea. That deck seems to have fallen off the face of the the face of the planet online. What rank are we? We're like 140, I think. Like 150 or so. Yeah, the, the rise in popularity of the Grohl aggro deck we've played a little bit of definitely made life a little bit harder for, for Mono Blue as a whole. That deck's very good against Blue. Yeah, it's, it's tough to tell exactly... It's tough to tell exactly how far you're going to fall because the the further you fall, the, the, the faster you fall, I think, is a reasonable assumption. And as we get closer to the cutoff, there's probably going to be more people trying to play. So I wouldn't be surprised if I have to play more before the end of the season to stay in the top 1,000. That wouldn't surprise me, but I also, I'm also hoping I don't have to. Yeah, your rank goes down because people pass you. Alright, let's start taking some hostages here. Does your rank get updated in the UI if you don't play? Yeah, if you go to your profile screen, you can see your current rank. Yeah, the bundle, the bundle comes with an avatar too. No, I don't believe you'll be able to get the animated cards in packs. Pretty sure you just have to pay money for them. So, gotta pressure this Vivi in this turn. I think I'm gonna just attack her with everything. And then hopefully... Oh, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. I should have... I guess I guess this works out. So, like, I blink this one and hostage take her this. Maybe I should do this pre-combat, but this way I don't lose any creatures. They're quite excellent, Ken. Can you get foil basics? Not currently. Foil basics are on their radar of things that they know people want and they want to do, though. Who's, who's playing Saltai now? Gosh, dinos are annoying. Alright, the good news is 
I get to play this vampire out and then have the blink up to protect it so I can pressure Vivian in the air. They're why are they playing Midnight Reaper? They have they have a cast down here. Weird. This seems super loose. I think I just do this and like take their Midnight Reaper and then smash everything into Vivian. So, like, even if they want to trade for some of my stuff, I draw a bunch of cards. Maybe they think with the second Carnage Tyrant they could just pressure me out of the game. Yeah, it does actually look like they're playing straight green black. It does look like they're playing straight green black. Chupacabra. I would love... I would love to flick my hostage taker and then take your Chupacabra and Chupacabra something else. That sounds excellent. They're probably just want to play another Carnage turn out, out here though, right? We'll see what they do. They currently have five, six, seven, eight mana with this elf. They shocked in. All right, so they have eight mana all together. What do we do with eight mana? You have a four mana spell here. You have like double Chupacabra maybe. Why did they shock? Seems weird. Actual factual murder. Um. Hey, Tink Ramp. Thanks for the prime support. Hope you're having a good one. Welcome, welcome. Do I want to ship these into Vivian Reed? I feel like I don't. It might have also been right to just get the... Yeah, it might have been right to just cast the Vampire to pressure the Vivian. That might have been more correct. I think I just hang tight for now. The fact that she's like not digging to Hydroid Crisis means she's a little bit less scary. Although they have, they have the murder in their hand, so like playing vampire doesn't really accomplish that. Although I guess I could have held the siren's ruse to protect it. So maybe, maybe that's meaningful. So now they have enough to dino plus jade light. If they play Jade Light and don't hit a land, I get to double bell haunt them. Oh, that's interesting. Sure. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11. So I guess I'm going to lead on this. Maybe I'm supposed to vampire for the second one here still. 
So if I attack this with everything, they eat a couple of my things, and then Vivian lives. So I think I just pass here. If they don't have a double spell turn, we could be in a good spot. And next turn, I can activate Memorial, pick my Hostage Taker back up, play Hostage Taker, clear a blocker. And then once we take Vivian off the table... Once we take Vivian off the table, we could be in an okay in the clear. All right, so we're hoping we're hoping this other card's a blank. Like Vivian's plus is very likely to hit a spell. We're hoping they missed on a spell for the turn though. Play so four. This is nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve mana. So I actually have enough mana this turn to activate Memorial, play Hostage Taker, play their Chupacabra. Man, could you imagine if we'd managed to draw a party bus this game? So they block one, two, three. Vivian takes four and goes to two. Is that actually profitable for us? I don't know if that's profitable for us. I think we're supposed to like wait another turn again, huh? Just like hope there's no Chupacabra in our future. They block one, two, three. She takes... I think I'm supposed to... Yeah, next, next turn I get to attack with more things. So, like, next turn I can smash with everything, hit her down low, and then play the vampire to finish her off. Yeah. <laughs> these, these damn dogs. Because the, the Chupacabra is basically a double blocker, right? Where is my bus, chat? We are, we're 24 cards into our deck without a bus. Ugh. There we go, I guess. The bus got held up in traffic. Feel the wrath of Scala. All right. Oh. The Mortify is actually not a terrible draw because it means once I draw the bus, I can bust my whole board and then kill the bus immediately and get all my triggers. Demon Kokobo, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. They are on all four Chupacabras. <sighs> it's been a tough, long game. I've seen things that would break no, we don't want a hostage taker. We don't want to bust things that we've hostage takered. That ends up that ends up with a result that we are not happy with. It's really unfortunate all of our hostage shakers died. That makes our bus a little bit of a worse draw. Twenty nine cards. I mean, like, so, so, boy, I feel like this deck has difficulty with Planeswalkers is a weird takeaway from this game, right? Like, we're kind of talking about how the whole game is just about the fact that we just, like, don't have a bus. 
and like making changes to your deck to play around not having your four of in the top half is like awkward we also had some really really close close turns where like if they hadn't drawn chupacabra three turns in a row we would have taken the vivian off the table like there were there was there weren't any treasure maps in the top half of our deck either to like help us find these things sooner If we would have had the bus a long time ago, we would have gotten to do looping things with it and kept their board in check. The bus doesn't just attack. It does, does way more than just attack. And I get, I get that, like, feels bad to like lose a game like this and, and and but the conclusion that like we have issues with planeswalkers when we got unlucky like sure you can have issues with anything when you get unlucky like making changes the point i'm trying to make is making changes to your deck to play around scenarios that are outliers isn't good deck building isn't smart deck building if you, if you adjust your deck every time you hit a situation that's an outlier, you're never going to be done changing your deck, right? We, see, we secretly cut the bus, yep. Also, we can play double black cards. So if you're confident that Planeswalkers are really an issue, I'd probably play Brass Braska's Contempt. Like, you could turn this into a Contempt. We talked earlier that, like, Moment of Craving um, is is probably not necessary as a 4 of. So, like, you could play another, you could play another Contempt over this slot. I don't actually have that many sideboard cards for this matchup. I don't think Kaya is very good. I'm just going to cut the Mortifies and bring in two cast downs and a Spyglass, I think. You can make the Eldest Reborn a copy of Contempt 2 if you're really worried about it. Look at that. We remember where we parked our bus this game, chat. It's gonna be it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Rude. I always feel bad when, like, Duress hits against decks like this. Like, we really don't have that many non-creatures in our deck. Anything, anything with an ETB here is great to put under the bus for later. Awesome, Destin. Yeah, BCW makes good stuff. Their, their price point is great too. Like eight bucks for the hundred sleeves or whatnot is great. What, what problem do you think this deck has that you're aiming to solve by including drill bit? Why do you want drill bit to solve a problem with creatures rather than just playing removal spells? Help me, help me understand a little bit, Silas. Maybe I'm supposed to kill land war elves there, since they missed on a land. The deck decided it was sorry for last game. <sighs> ah, magic. This is this is where the magic happens, chat. This is where 
This is where the magic happens. I am not putting a stop on my upkeep intentionally here. Because if I draw a fifth land for the turn, I want to cast Lumbering Battlement. So I am I am intentionally not putting an upkeep stop on. Because I would like to draw a land and cast Battlement for the turn. If I, if I scry into a land, I don't get to cast Battlement. So I want to give myself the best possible chance to play my 5 mana spell next turn. So I played the map there because I had the mana available to play it, but I definitely think I want to just take a draw step. No blocks. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I've had enough. I've had enough. We're done. All right. I don't love to end on a low note, but we've been on this deck for almost two hours. And we've got a long list of things I would like to get to today, so we're going to go ahead and move along. Um, comments. Comments on this one. I think it's okay. I think it's okay to make some changes to the sideboard. I think trying some contempts is not a terrible idea. I think we have too many... I think we have too many Moment of Cravings. I think you could turn this fourth Mortify into a Contempt. I don't hate that. I think if you really wanted to go crazy on the Contempts, you could trim this Eldest Reborn for one, too. Maybe maybe turn this into another Spyglass. This doesn't seem terrible. I don't, I don't hate that idea. This is like a generically good card, and we could support double black just fine, so that's probably, probably okay. Why do we want Contempt over more Spyglass? Why do I want Spyglass over more Contempt? I've got a, I've got a little bit of both here. They do, they do different things. Um, Contempt's more flexible. Spyglass is more susceptible to removal. So, like, if you think you want Planeswalker removal in the Sultai matchup, Spyglass can be a little bit of a liability against Sultai because they have Hostage Shaker, and Hostage Shaker notably can take artifacts. So, Sorcerer Spyglass isn't necessarily a clean answer in the Sultai matchup, but Sorcerer Spyglass tends to be much better against Esper Control because it turns off Flip Search for Ascanta, and it also gets to be Splash Hate against the Nexus of Fate decks for that same reason. Why so much creature removal and no counterspells? Why do I want counterspells? What problem does this deck have that you're solving by playing counterspells? So generally speaking, decks that tap out a lot tend to not want to have counter spells to hold up. So this deck has a bunch of creatures that it's putting into play. So like, I'd much rather have proactive disruption in the form of duress rather than reactive disruption in the form of counter spells. Correct. Spyglass, the timing on Spyglass is different. And at the end of the day, like, a lot of these cards are very similar and situationally better in different ways. So, like, playing a split is often right unless you really want to hedge specific instances. The duress effect is really good. I agree. A lot of these cards are just fantastic. A lot of the animations. All right, what are we doing next? We got some Esper friends up next. You go. 